This is 7 News, first at 4. Right now at 4, this is what's left of a house after a tense standoff in southwest Miami-Dade that lasted for hours. Good afternoon, everybody. The ordeal started last night. SWAT team swarming a home after a woman barricaded herself inside. Nearly eight hours later, it all ended, and police say that woman is a former Miami-Dade police lieutenant. Jessica Holly is live in southwest Miami-Dade with the details. Jessica. Police say this all started with an argument between two former officers. They say the woman shot at her boyfriend's truck and then locked herself in a home in this neighborhood, refusing to cooperate. But the standoff would come to an end around 2 this afternoon. A former police officer cuffed and arrested, accused of shooting at her boyfriend and then barricading herself inside a Southwest Miami-Dade home with a gun. She barricaded herself in this residence and refused to come out and comply with the demands of the officers. Police identifying her as retired Miami-Dade Police Lieutenant Evelyn Fernandez. According to police, this all began Thursday evening around 6.30 with reports of a shooting in Southwest Miami-Dade. Girlfriend shooting a complainant's white F-150. The subject is in a great Jeep. Police getting a shot spotter alert and a call to 911. A great Jeep, female driver, arm of a gun chasing a white pickup. Then late last night, police getting word that Fernandez was holed up in a home in the area of Southwest 174th Street and 142nd Place. The special response team spending hours trying to get her to surrender, but she wasn't having it. During that time, there were moments when uh, she appeared that she was going to be cooperative and then she would not be cooperative. They broke down the windows and the doors, sent smoke into the attic, and had a robot search the home. In addition to resisting, they say she also fired shots inside the home. After some 14 hours of negotiating and using every tool possible, police say the standoff came to an end and she's headed to jail. She resisted arrest until the last moment that we placed handcuffs on her. And this is not the first time a rocky relationship involving Fernandez has made it to the news. We'll have more on that coming up on 7 News at 5. We are live in southwest Miami-Dade. Jessica Holly, 7 News.